Tirag Evi, are you present? So I'm calling the next person. Dr. Ali's, Dr. Alicia Elizabeth Alex, are you present? Okay. Your topic is crisis of uh, compliance, understanding the paradigm of uh, treatment of dropouts in diabetic retinopathy care. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My topic is crisis of compliance, understanding the paradigm of treatment dropouts in diabetic retinopathy care. I'm not able to move my slide. So panretinal photocoagulation treatment for diabetic retinopathy has shown a significant 50 to 60% decrease in severe visual impairment risk within three months by halting abnormal neovascularization. And the introduction of anti vegf injections has had a transformative impact on managing diabetic retinopathy. So though diabetic retinopathy is mainly treatable, complications arise when patients fail to follow up cons consistently. So in this study, loss to follow up was defined as any missing as missing any follow-up visit for any interval exceeding six months, provided that the patients eventually resume care before the end of the study period. There may be several untold factors that may lead to uh, not to follow-up. However, some notable influencing factors may be affordability of the treatment and need for multiple sittings or injections. So the objective of my study was to estimate the proportion of treatment dropouts among diabetic retinopathy patients receiving anti-VEGF therapy, multiple laser sittings within one year of starting the treatment. And it, the second objective was to explore the factors associated with the treatment dropouts among these patients. Uh, it was a prospective interventional follow-up study conducted in a tertiary care hospital uh, in Kolar uh, over a period of one and a half uh, years. And all diabetic retinopathy patients undergoing anti-VEGF treatment or laser treatment who presented to the OPD was uh, uh, conduct, uh, evaluated in the study. A total of 112 patients were taken. So all these patients were subjected to uh, the routine screening tests and investigations, and they were characterized in, uh, categorized into three groups. That is anti-VEGF group, laser group, and both anti-VEGF and laser group. The number of their uh, PRP sessions and the injections were assessed, and the follow-ups were uh, assessed. Here the patients, were the patients in the loss to follow-up group were requested to complete an eight-factor questionnaire through the telephonic method and regarding the reasons for their missing their follow-up appointments. The questionnaire covered various potential causes such as uh, for loss to follow-up, such as lack of information, compliance, treatment affordability, transportation issues, social support, and employment commitments. And the patients were uh, asked to respond with their, uh, to the questions with yes or no. Uh, here the data were analyzed as frequencies and proportions. Chi-square tests or Fisher exact test was used for significant tests of qualitative data. Uh, here the results. Um, for, out of the 112, 78 were undergoing laser, 22 are undergoing anti-VEGF, and 12 patients undergoing both. Among the age groups or even the sexual, uh, there was no uh, statistically significance in the results. Um, here, the loss to follow up reasons, the highest came for the financial obligation that the patients had, and the second highest was for the job obligations among the working population. And the third was uh, ineffectiveness. The patients felt that their treatment was ineffective and uh, hence they did not follow up. So in the study, 30.4 patients who received PRP or intraarterial anti vegf injections were lost to follow up. Um, and 60% of the diabetic retinopathy patients exhibit a positive response to PRP within three months following the completion of treatment. And uh, nevertheless, one third of the patients, growth of new retinal vessels may persist after the initial PRP session. So consequently, the occurrence of vitreous hemorrhage poses a risk of vision loss and may even impede the continuation of further PRP sessions. In contrast, anti vegf injections can yield to rapid regression. However, uh, it may be even only for a shorter duration and new vessel 
can recur when 93% of the eyes within 12 weeks. So here the higher rate of the loss to follow up was observed in subjects who underwent intravitreal injections or a combination of both than those in the PRP group alone. Uh, the study, in our study, the limited affordability was the predominant cause and the second was the job obligations, particularly in the younger age group. There was no ideal time interval for defining loss to follow up because the PRP or the intravitreal injection follow up schedules can vary depending on the stages of diabetic retinopathy patients. The study did not have randomized treatment decisions which may have introduced a selection bias. And it is essential to note that the outcomes of our research may not be universally applicable for on an international scale. So uh, to conclude, it's a crucial, it is crucial to underscore the substantial risk of vision loss faced by diabetic retinopathy patients who experience, lo who, uh, experience loss to follow. Consequently, it becomes an imperative to meticulously examine each patient's specific causes contributing and tailor the interventions accordingly to mitigate their risk. Identifying and understanding the potential factors leading to loss to follow up can pave the way for targeted and practical strategies to enhance patient engagement and follow up. These are my references. The slide's not moving. Thank you very much. Uh, are you giving free injections to the patients? Uh, no, sir. In this study, we had taken people who were already had started the study, but eventually they, they were lost to follow up. No, the cost may be the factor. <laughs> yes, uh, so a lot of the main cost they said was financial obligations. Yeah, that's not big. One percentage is completed one year follow up. Your total number was 112, sir. No, sir. Only about 34 had lost to follow. The rest had followed up. And out of that, the major cost was financial or job obligations. What anti have you uh, given? We have given ranibizumab. Ranibizumab only. Any other question? Any other question? <laughs>